Okay, so for this lesson, we're learning how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Now, rectangular prisms can vary in their dimensions, but for this one in particular, we can see that there are three different um, values that we need to consider. So we've got here, really, we've got like a length here that's eight meters. We've sort of got the um, depth of the shape there, and we've also kind of got like the width of the shape here. Um, so what we need to consider is we've really got a front and a back piece. So if I think of this as being the front and the back at this side here are actually the same piece. So the front and the back both have the dimensions of 8 by 2 because it's 8 this way and 2 up. I've also got the sides here, okay? So I've got a side here, and I've also got this side here. So we can call these the sides, and they're gonna be five across, and they're also two up, okay? So they're five across here and two up, and that would give us this whole side here. And then the last is the top and the bottom, okay? So the top and the bottom the same piece and they look more like this and they're going to be five by eight so I'm going to find the area of each one of these because they're all rectangles the formula that I'm going to use for all of them is length times width because they're all rectangles so this is going to be eight times two this is going to be five times two and this is going to be eight times five okay now that would be if I'm finding just one, but I've got two of these, two of these, and two of these. So I'm gonna times each of them by two again, because I've got two of each. This value would be 32, this value would be 20, and this value would be 80. So for my total surface area, I need to go 32 plus 20 plus 80, which is going to be 132 meters squared. So the first thing we did was find the area of the front and the back, find the area of the sides, find the area of the top and the bottom. Make sure that we account for the fact that we have two pieces this side, two pieces this size, and two pieces this size. That's why we've doubled them, and then we've added them all together to get our total surface area.